is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're going to be talking about the feuds moving forward after the superstar shakeup guys we have raw and we have smackdown i'm not going to cover the full rosters and all that good jazz what we're going to do here is i'm going to break down maybe the main event players you know the big names on each brand and i'm going to talk about who they're going to be feuding with first who I, i'm pretty much predicting who these guys are going to go what their first feuds are on their new brands coming into this week. I also heard a rumor that the Superstar Shakeup could continue this week. I don't know if that's, you know, bullcrap. I don't know if that's real. I, you know, I just heard that in the dirt sheets that that is something that could possibly happen. The the Superstar Shakeup could continue this week. So don't be surprised if people flip-flop. You know, WWE, they don't know what the hell they're doing and that's just what happens. But anyways guys, we're not going to get into that, you know, what if situation. It's going to be who I think these people are legitimately going to feud with moving forward into the next pay-per-view, which I think is money in the bank or one of the Saudi pay-per-views. I can't, I, I don't even know. But the first feuds moving forward, guys, I guess we can start off with SmackDown Live. I feel like SmackDown Live may be a little bit more clean cut than Monday Night Raw. But anyways, guys, starting off first, we have the WWE Champion, right? Uh, right now, he has zero feuds going on. He is completely babyface. He's running around. He's still throwing pancakes, being his normal Kofi Kingston self. I hope to God this week on SmackDown they don't come out and cut another promo talking about the epic moments at WrestleMania 35. It's been a few weeks, man. We know you one we love you just let's let's get to fighting let's get to wrestling let's get a feud going so you guys know that on this past week on smackdown biggie is injured so they had to replace biggie with kevin owens and you know kevin owens since returning from injury has been a baby face he's been cheered he's been this he's been that but i think this week guys i think it's finally time for big o big ko my boy kevin owens is going to turn heel on the new day xavier woods and kofi kingston and this is going to be kofi's first title defense kofi is going to defend the championship against kevin owens going into wherever, whether it's in Saudi Arabia, whether it's on U.S. soil at Money in the Bank or wherever, this is going to be your WWE Championship moving forward. I don't see them doing anything else. You'll have a fresh heel, you'll have a fresh baby face going head to head and I think they would do a great deal here. You know, uh, KO did a wonderful job fitting into the New Day there, so I think that he could easily tear it down and get booed really well right here. Especially with Daniel Bryan out, we're not going to get a rematch, at least right now. And Roman Reigns is a baby face and there's nobody else really that can step up to Kofi besides KO. So getting them out of the way, that is it for the WWE Championship. Moving on, guys, we have the Big Dog. The Big Dog was the biggest acquisition for SmackDown Live. We got You guys saw it at the end of SmackDown Live. He attacked Vince McMahon, and he attacked Elias. So who I think Roman Reigns is going to feud with coming into SmackDown Live is Elias. I think Elias, you know, he, he even mentioned it at the Little Shield last time forever or forever whatever the crap the thing was with the Shield last night. Roman Reigns was dissed by Elias and he said that he was going to get him back. So I think this is going to be your feud moving forward. I think that seeing Elias on SmackDown is going to be a nice fresh take. Also, one thing to point out is that Elias really hasn't wrestled on Monday Night Raw, guys. He comes out, he does his same old walk with Elias. What does WWE stand for? He craps on the crowd, he sings along, somebody interrupts, and that's the end of the segment. That is literally all this man does. He needs to get back in the ring like he used to be and get him some feuds going. At last year's Money in the Bank, he had a great Intercontinental title match with Seth Rollins. So why not do that here? Here's a great matchup to go on. Um, build up some momentum from Roman Reigns, give some uh, matches back to Elias, and uh, get this man back in the ring. Another possible feud, little asterisk beside Roman Reigns. You can see Lars Sullivan. I could see Lars Sullivan and the big dog getting into it and uh, possibly elevating Lars Sullivan, but you know, uh, I think Lars Sullivan would get destroyed. Even though I'm not even a Lars Sullivan fan, I think he's absolute trash, to be honest with you guys. He comes out to crickets. But Lars Sullivan did attack the Hardy Boys. Who else did he attack? He attacked somebody else on SmackDown Live. I can't even remember who it was, but there is that. Next up, guys, we have my boy Finn Balor in the Intercontinental Championship. So who is my boy going to feud with moving forward? We just saw a great matchup with Mustafa Ali. But both of those guys are babyface, and I don't think they're going to turn Finn Balor heel. Fantasy booking-wise, I would love to see Finn Balor turn heel, join the club, and run rampant on SmackDown Live into the summer. That's not going to happen. It's just not, they're not creative. They're not going to do something cool. So what's going to happen is Finn Balor. I don't have a figure of who his opponent's going to be, guys, but it's going to be Buddy Murphy. I think Buddy Murphy's going to call up, and we're going to get a few between Buddy Murphy and Finn Balor going into the summer. I think that would be incredible. I think both guys have amazing, they're amazing in the ring. They can fly all around. They're high flyers. This is going to be uh, the really good stuff to see. And a match between them and Money in the Bank or something like that would be absolutely fantastic. So that's my prediction for Finn 
Finn Balor. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight, as his first feud on SmackDown Live will be with Buddy Murphy. So now that we're pretty much done with the main event players of the big stars over on SmackDown, guys, we'll move over to Monday Night Raw. And with Monday Night Raw comes my boy Seth Rollins. All of my boys are champion. I mean, Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens in the WWE title picture. I mean, my Hardy boys are SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. I mean, it's just, it's just really good stuff right now, but... Seth Rollins, moving forward, guys, there's only one man that can compete with the Universal Championship on Seth Rollins right now, and it's got to be the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. It just makes the most sense, right? Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins need to finally have their program. You know, we've uh, we've talked about it for months and years, and ever since Drew McIntyre came back to WWE, we're like, he is a future world champion, and um, it's finally time. With Roman Reigns gone and, you know, not hogging up the main event scene, I think that Drew McIntyre can easily fit this role here. I know that uh, Roman's is a babyface and Drew's a heel, but they never really gave it to Drew. He's been running around with groups of people and this and that. Let this man be alone. Let this man go one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins, have him cutting promos back and forth, get him a good in-ring match. I think uh, they've had good matches in the past on Monday Night Raw, so no six-man tags, no gimmick bullcrap. Let these men get in the ring and do work. We've seen Drew's work. We've seen Seth's work. Obviously, they can both go. This is your universal program going into Money in the Bank or Saudi Arabia. This is what I'm predicting for Seth Rollins for his first feud away from the Shield on Monday Night Raw. So there is that match matchup. The next matchup, guys, is Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. We did uh, we did see that, you know, last week I think Samoa Joe had the flu or something. He had to miss Monday Night Raw, and they wouldn't let him go, so he uh, didn't appear, and then Finn went over to SmackDown. Everybody was like, what the hell? Are we going to have the U.S. title and Intercontinental title both on SmackDown Live? That is not the case at all. He was sick, so this time he is going to be on Monday Night Raw, and I think he will either attack Braun Strowman or Braun Strowman will attack him. I'd prefer Samoa Joe attack Braun because we saw them scuffle on SmackDown Live. So this is going to be your U.S. title. And I hope Samoa Joe wins, man. I do not want to see Braun with the U.S. title. That's just crap to me. Hopefully we get some good matches, some hard-hitting matchups between the two, maybe a good feud. And um, I like their little scuffle they had on SmackDown Live last week or two weeks ago after uh, WrestleMania. I thought that was pretty good stuff. So here is your uh, singles title. Braun going to be chasing his first singles title in WWE. Samoa Joe trying to hold on to his title. And we need this man to keep his momentum. You know, he's been, he looked great at WrestleMania destroying Rey Mysterio, and he, before that, he was losing a lot of matches, so he needs to continue that build here and have a good program with Braun Strowman. And for our last sort of main eventer or big-time talent on Monday Night Raw, guys, is the phenomenal AJ Styles. And who is AJ Styles going to feud with, right? I mean, he's not, they're not going to put AJ Styles against Seth Rollins immediately. They're going to let that simmer. They're going to let that cook, maybe plant some seeds, maybe have you know, either Seth or AJ turn heel in a few months, and I think that is the money match at either SummerSlam or next year's WrestleMania will be AJ versus Seth for the Universal Championship, so that is what I'm thinking there. We also have a babyface Miz on um, on TV right now, and I think that whoever, the, whoever AJ Styles doesn't face is who the Miz will face, and the only two logical answers, guys, is Bobby Trashley and Samuel Zayn. I would much prefer a... Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles and then a Miz versus Bobby Lashley then a Bobby Lashley versus AJ and a Sami versus Miz. I just think that they, these two would be money in the ring. I think we've seen it before. I could be wrong but I feel like you know when the Yep movement and all that crap was going on they may have squared off. I could be wrong like I said but uh, this would be a good program to see on Monday Night Raw since you know we haven't seen it in a long time if we have seen it and then Trashley will go up with the Miz and that's not something I'm interested in but nobody wants to see these two feud. I know that for a freaking fact. But I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to give AJ to Sammy, let them tear the house down, have some really good matches. I can't wait to get into to some Money in the Bank predictions, man. Get into some Money in the Bank, uh, you know, matches, some matchups, some predictions, some fantasy booking ideas. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff on Money in the Bank, and I cannot wait for that. But I think that is all that I wanted to do here today, guys, is just talk about the Superstar Shakeup, who the feuds are going to be on Monday night and Tuesday night. We're going to see tonight with Monday Night Raw starting things off, who is going to be mixing and matching 
matching. I really think that Drew and Seth are going to be the universal title picture for now, and then that Kofi and KO will be the uh, main event on SmackDown Live, at least starting off. But we will only see if we watch the shows and see what comes up all of it. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy my predictions. Comment down below who you think will be feuding going into tonight's Monday Night Raw and tomorrow night's SmackDown Live. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.